hello everyone welcome back to this video and today in this video we are going to see how you can claim your free credit pass on google cloud skills boost platform to take skill badges okay so as all of you know that arcade facilitator program is already live and the enrollment is still going on and so all you need to do if you haven't enrolled in the program yet just come to this page and here you will find all the relevant instruction or you can refer to my previous video just before this video itself so that you can easily participate in this program and uh, you should enroll as soon as possible because the enrollment form is going to be closed soon once all the seats get filled okay so uh, once you are successfully registered in this program and within 24 to 48 hours you should receive one congratulatory email with this title congratulations you are now enrolled in the google cloud arcade facilitator program cohort 2 so the very first step should be to redeem your 600 credit pass so that you can start with your skill badges so in this particular email itself you will receive the step-by-step -step instruction how you can redeem your 600 credits on this cloud skills boost platform uh, so that you can start with your skill badges okay so let's see the step-by-step -step, uh, process how you can redeem your 600 credits uh, just by following the instructions you have received in the email okay uh, let's follow from the step number one itself uh, it is saying that open incognito window in your browser so however if you don't want to open your incognito window in your uh, browser you can simply uh, continue with your normal window as well but make sure that you are signed out from your cloud skills boost account so i am going to uh, follow that way only because once you open an incognito window then once again you need to sign in with your google account again so that is a tedious task maybe so uh, let's uh, see the step number two go to this website so let me just open this uh, link in a new tab so now it is very important to notice that if you are signed in or not so as you can see on the right side uh, top corner i am already signed into my cloud skills boost account so the first step should be you just need to sign out from your cloud skills boost account if you are already signed in okay so this is very important if you are already signed into cloud skills boost account then first step should be you just sign out from your account okay then simply close this tab and again go back to the step number two okay then simply click on this link and open in this link in new tab fine so now if you notice carefully that the sign in button is coming here that means you are signed out of this account so that you are signed out of your cloud skills boost account so then you should copy this code very carefully just uh, make sure that you do not copy any extra space copy this code very carefully without any extra space and paste it over here okay so as you can notice no extra space is copied and the code is exactly the one that i have received here okay simply click on this checkbox then submit it perfect perfect then the next step should be now you just need to sign in with your cloud skills boost account so let me just sign in quickly now they are saying once you again sign in with your cloud skills boost account now if you click on the profile icon on the top right corner you can see that you have nine credits to get started okay so let's just go ahead and verify this so i'm just opening this credits tab uh, credits uh, page in the new tab yeah so if you notice carefully that i have received nine credits as of now you can see the uh, date itself it is august 5 so initially you should receive nine credits in your account then uh, you should go ahead with the next step the next step is you need to just perform this particular lab in order to get your 600 credits okay so simply start this lab okay so simply click on this start lab button and it will give you the uh, one student username and student password and make sure to sign in this account in your incognito window simply copy the password and right click here and simply open this link in new tab sorry in the open this link in incognito window okay so you just need to copy your username 
and paste it here then you just need to copy the password then simply paste your password in this field then click on next okay click on this i understand button okay once you are in this page you just need to agree to the terms and conditions and uh, continue okay now we just need to follow the instructions uh, given in the lab itself uh, so let's see one by one just come to this uh, task number one okay the task number one we have already completed so let's see what are the uh, thing we need to do in this particular lab okay so just uh, scroll down scroll down scroll down um scroll down scroll down yes i think uh this particular task we need to do as a part of this lab okay yes yes in this lab you can see there are two tasks grant and iam role and enable the dialog flow api so let's uh, start with the first first task itself uh, so the clear instruction is given already given over here so first of all you just need to go to your navigation menu then click iam and admin then again iam so navigation menu means this menu and from here you just need to go to your iam or optionally you can simply search over here as well so as you can see in the popular search searches result you can see the link to the iam and admin so simply click on this link okay so once you are iam and admin slash iam so once you are on this page you just need to click on this grant access button so simply click on this button and here you have to add a new principle so just come over here and so far we have done this step and clicked on grant access button so now you have to just uh, add a new principle you need to simply copy this username very carefully without any extra space and copy from here and go back to this and in the new principles field simply paste the username over here and then you need to assign a viewer role just to go back to verify yes we need to assign a viewer role with this username okay so simply click on this role you can simply uh, choose viewer simply currently used then viewer otherwise you can simply search uh, by writing viewer over here so once you select this you just need to save this okay so once this is done you just need to click on this grant a role button check my progress button to check your progress and as you can see uh, this task is completed so moving ahead to the next so the next task is very very easy you just need to enable an api okay i'll uh, simply click on copy this dialog flow api name then come over here on the search bar simply paste your name of the api dialog flow api and click on this particular link api dialog flow api okay click on this and you just need to enable this particular api by clicking this enable button and that's it it will take a little time to enable this api okay so now it is done just you need to go back to this page and and again click on the check my progress button and and this task is also done and from this right side panel again you can click the check my progress button and it should be 100 out of 100 and once you receive the 100 out of 100 score here then only you should end this lab okay so once you end this lab after a few minutes you should receive your remaining credits i mean your total 600 credits so yeah as per the information given here it may take at least uh six minutes well uh, spend at least six minutes and once you finish this lab by clicking end lab button you will automatically get a uh, 600 free credits to your account so let's see that i have i have got my credits or not you can simply go to this credits link over here and from there you can uh, verify that you have yeah that you can see i have uh, received my 600 credits instantly just after completing the lab 
so once you try to do skill badges these credits will be required to start with a skill badge okay so this is the particular email that you should receive so if you uh, follow the instructions carefully then you should not face any more issue by with the redeeming process uh, so that's all about it so also they have uh, written that it didn't get the credit pass don't worry so after completing the lab wait for a few minutes and refresh your browser to see the details okay to see the credits and it may take 20 to 30 minutes after you complete the lab for the credits to be provisioned okay so uh, however i received instantly but you should wait at least 20 to 30 minutes to receive your credits for the same and otherwise you should reach out to your facilitators and like uh, for this time they have mentioned the uh, linkedin profile links of the facilitators that you have chosen okay so if you haven't enrolled in the program yet you can come to this page and you, you can enroll in the program by using our referral code so that we can guide you and once you use our referral code you will be enrolled under our guidance only okay so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you found this video helpful so thank you so much